Okay, we're back. Uh, uh, we were just talking about the short pro tool, how uh, we quickly went through all the branches of a circuit to find that short on the cooling circuit and how easy it was to determine if it was a short in the wiring going through the attic going to the condenser or it was a type of short that was at the condenser. Uh, sometimes you can't find a short with the short pro because it's a different type of short. It could have been an intermittent short where the wires had touched briefly and shorted out or it could have been a electrical storm that blew the fuse on that furnace or even what we call an inrush of power where the power is off at the residence and then when the grid's restored or when power is restored to the house, a lot of times it has what they call an inrush of too much current draw that can blow a fuse on the circuit board. Because um, normally if it's got a short in the system, the short pro tool will find it. And if you go through the, the diagnostic with that tool and cannot find a short, then it's one of these other types. And also in the instructions of the uh, short pro tool, it says if you go through the test and can't find the short, then it's recommended you put something called a resettable fuse. And that's what this little device is. It's a solid state PTC resettable fuse and basically is one fuse fits all. This particular fuse is sized up for a 40VA transformer, this little round disc right here, but it, it pretty much will replace the, about five or six different types of fuses that are on these 40VA transformer systems that uh, you're going to run into. So this is basically the only fuse you need to stock on your truck uh, that replaces all six styles of fuses that go on these uh, 24 volt uh, secondary side of these transformers. And we're going to do a demonstration with this. And uh, with the resettable fuse, it can be like a traditional fuse when there is a short put across the circuit. This will open up to protect everything just like a traditional fuse. You can make it to where it stays open the whole time until the technician arrives to uh, get into the system and try to locate that short. Or it can be wired into where it can reset automatically by itself. I'm sure you've had times where you've gone out to a house and found a blown fuse and couldn't find the short and you put the new fuse in and everything works fine for a few weeks and then the customer's calling you back because uh, the unit went out again. And that's because you've probably figured out you've got an intermittent short somewhere. And uh, you could do things like start replacing the wiring, going through the attic, uh, and uh, it could be pretty expensive for a customer and you may not be able to uh, find where the short is right away. Uh, you may charge the customer a few hundred dollars to run wire and they think it's all solved and a few weeks later the same thing happens again and they're going to be a little bit upset saying well you just charged me three hundred dollars to replace wiring and it's still doing the same thing and then if you can't find the short you're going to be second guessing yourself and uh, thinking that well it could be the thermostat or it could be the circuit board well unless you can locate that short the best thing to do is to install one of these resettable fuses and it can be wired to where it can, like I say, uh, as soon as it trips, it'll stay in a lockout mode like a traditional fuse and uh, stay open until you go out there to uh, do the repair. Or you can wire it to where it can reset automatically. If the short happens while you're gone, it'll reset automatically by itself and you won't be bothered with a go back. So I'll demonstrate real quick a couple different ways. Now right now I've got here's the second area of the transformer it's going through one side of the resettable fuse and then going to this uh, contactor right here and I've got this yellow jumper lead ready to do a short across the contactor coil just like it did right there you saw that the little red LED light went out on me and that means that this device is tripped right now. 
And just to give you a heads up, uh, once this PTC device or this resettable fuse trips, it's at 126 degrees Celsius, so it's hot to the touch. And you can either uh, take my word for it, or if you're in a system right now and you don't know if this fuse is uh, tripped or not, you can just touch it. It's real hot to the touch. You can't keep your finger on there. Now this will stay tripped until the power uh, is restored after you turn it off. It'll allow this to cool off for a second or two and reset. And then you can see the LED is lit again and power is restored. Now when this trips, of course, it protects all the circuits of the furnace and also this transformer. We'll trip it again. I put this short across this coil and you can see the little LED light went out so that means this device is just tripped again. And uh, some service techs liked it to be like the traditional fuse where you know, once the short is put across there they want this fuse or this circuit to be open the whole time. Uh, protecting and that's what it does if you want to wire it in this traditional way and if you want to wire it into where it will work as an automatic reset what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire in this delay on make time delay and what we're doing is we're coming out of the transformer secondary and it's going through our protection, this resettable fuse, and then it's going through this time delay circuit here. We'll restore the power, and I'm going to advance this timer so it'll bring on the, the contactor coil. Now, we're going to go ahead and run a short on it. It's going to go ahead and trip the resettable fuse starts to protect everything and I've got this short going across it right now I'll take it off and what it'll do is it'll go ahead and time out on this time delay and once it's timed out it'll reset the power and uh, the contactor will energize again uh, the purpose of doing this is for those intermittent shorts so in case they do happen when you're not there It'll go ahead and if it's an intermittent one that lasts for a few seconds or you could have some wires that could touch an hour. doesn't make any difference. Once that fault condition is cleared or those wires aren't touching anymore, then it'll go ahead and automatically reset just like that through the time delay. And it'll automatically reset. You don't have to make another trip or go back to the customer's house it'll do the intermittent short it'll trip to protect everything and it'll go just to a time delay and reset automatically and that's about it